Hey guys, I'm back, and、uh, I wanted to talk a little about truth. What does it mean that something is true? Because truth has got to be one of the most fundamental concepts we grapple with, and not just philosophically, but in our day-to-day -day lives. Because our entire worldview, how we act towards other people, towards ourselves, or just in the world, must be based on what we think is true. We see the world, we believe certain things are true, and we act based upon those things that we believe are true. And of course, the importance of this truth is that, in theory at least, it should be objective, right? We all come together. I have my point of view. You have your point of view. We all got our opinions. We all have our beliefs. But then there's this other thing, right, that we all kind of have to agree on, and that's truth, because. It just is. It's a fact. It's a it's a state of fact in the universe. So it's subjective. So it's important in how we live together and interact because it's the one thing we can all agree on is the truth, at least in theory. And yeah, that brings me on why it's so more, much more relevant today, because of course we're told we live in a post-truth world where we can just pick our facts and they don't have to line up, and it's all just very postmodern and relativistic. So what the hell is this truth? I first really thought about this when I was grappling with the idea of knowledge. So basically, for hundreds of years, philosophers have been trying to come up with a single definition of knowledge that we could all agree on. And no matter what the many different definitions they came up with have been, there's always been one thing that has stayed the same for all the philosophers, and that is that to know something, that thing has to be true. You can't know something that isn't true. All you can do is be deluded. But here's the thing: if the definition of knowledge is belief in something that is true, who decides whether it's true? Because it can't be you, right? You believe the thing, and then it's true, and that makes it knowledge. But the "it's true" part feels like it has to be objective. It can't just be you deciding it, because as far as you're concerned. You might you might be deluded. You might believe something that isn't true, and you'd never be the wiser. To you, belief and knowledge kind of feel the same. So, who is it that determines that the thing you believe is true? Who is this outside, external, impartial, objective observer that gets to decide what's true? Who is this guy? But ultimately, the question is this. If truth is objective, what does it mean for something to be objective in a world where every single point of view is subjective?